Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am your friend Duga Pathak and in this video we will learn about Microsoft Failover Clustering. Microsoft Failover Clustering is a set of independent computers that work together to increase the availability of services and applications. The clustered servers, often called nodes, are connected by physical cables and the application like Microsoft Failover Clustering Manager. If one of the node fails, another node begins to provide the services through a mechanism called failover. This gets us the name called failover clustering. Why use Microsoft failover clustering? So there are several benefits and we would be discussing them one by one. The first of them is it reduces the pain of hardware faults. We often come across failed hardware like power supply unit failures, system board or memory module failures. And if the business application is hosted on a single node, the entire application is down. So failover clustering brings an end to this kind of problem and the hardware can be replaced while the business applications are running on the standby server. Second benefit, we, we have seen that some system administrators or some business users often make business application changes and those configurations at times do not work. In those cases, if there is no solution like Microsoft failover clustering, the entire business application is down. So this gives a solution in those cases as well. Another benefit, we have to update and patch our servers regularly. And in those cases, the applic business application has to be brought down. But if we are using Microsoft failover solution, we can patch one of the nodes at a time. This way we can bring the application in running state and patch the applications as well. Another benefit of having a Microsoft failover clustering is the disaster recovery mechanism. If we are working and configure the failover server in such a way that both the primary and the primary that is active and the passive nodes are on two different sides. If one of the node sites experiences any issues like network issues or any natural calamities, we can fail over the services to the neighboring site and this way the business application keeps running. Through failover clustering we achieve high availability of the applications. So that is the benefit of having a failover clustering. Microsoft failover clustering is suitable for stateful applications like SQL Server, financial transactions, messaging and file servers. This is not suitable for stateless applications like web servers and the websites. Here is a typical diagram that shows two node Microsoft failover clustering. On top of this, we can see the applications and virtual machines are running and the virtual machines and the applications hit the virtual IP. The virtual IP is the, actually the cluster name which hits the physical server that is active at that time. In this diagram, we can see the server 2 is active one and it accesses and writes data on the shared storage and that way the failover cluster works. In case anything goes wrong with server 2, the heart beating between them stops and the server 1 takes over and that, that brings a failover and the applications will still keep running because the failover has happened and the applications are accessible through server 1.